Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Matthew, your librarian. Today I'm going to read you a cute story called Children Make Terrible Pets by Peter Brown. La, la, la. Children make terrible pets. One morning, Lucy was practicing her twirls when she noticed she was being watched. Hello, who's there? I can smell you behind those bushes, so just come out. Squeak. When her secret admirer scurried into the open, Lucy could not believe her eyes. Oh my gosh! You're the cutest critter in the whole forest! Squeak! So Lucy brought the critter home to show her mom. Mom! Look what I found outside! I call him Squeaker because he makes funny sounds. Squeak! See? Isn't he the cutest? Can I keep him, please? Lucy Beatrice Bear, don't you know that children make terrible pets? Oh, come on, Mom. Look how sweet he is. You won't be any trouble, will you, boy? Squeak. Oh, all right, you can keep them in one condition. Squeaker is your responsibility. I will not take care of him for you. Thanks, Mom. Oh, Squeaker is going to be the best pet ever. You'll see. Lucy and Squeaker were inseparable. They played together. They ate together. They napped together. Lucy and Squeaker did everything together, but it wasn't all fun and games. It was impossible to potty train him. Squeak. Squeak! He ruined the furniture. He caused problems wherever he went. We don't throw food at tea parties. Squeak! And just when Lucy thought things couldn't get any worse... Squeaker disappeared. Squeaker! Lucy checked the usual hiding spots, but her pet was nowhere to be found. Here, Squeaker! Come here, boy! Squeaker! Squeaker, where are you? Sniff, sniff. Lucy had almost given up hope when her sensitive nose caught a whiff of her squeaker. Lucy followed squeaker's scent this way and that across the entire forest until finally she found squeaker. But something had changed. Squeaker didn't seem like a pet anymore. Lucy knew what she had to do. Goodbye, squeaker. Squeak, 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 boof. Squeaker belongs with his family. I guess some critters aren't meant to be pets. I'm really going to miss that little fella. Maybe it's all for the best. Lucy had a lot to think about on her way home. 
By the end of the day, Lucy had learned one valuable lesson. You were right, Mom. Children do make terrible pets. They really are the worst. The end. Uh-oh. You think Lucy likes that elephant? I wonder if elephants make good pets. What do you think? <laughs> Isn't that cute? That's true. When you have a pet, you got to take care of it. Well, until I see you again, keep reading.